about all these guys' bodies, but maybe it's just the day and age of college basketball. But Markinen and Alkins both as much athleticism. So when you put in these principles that Sean Miller puts in, and you have athletes to do it, superior athletes. There you see Markinen. Anxious to see what kind of role he takes on. You know, Ryan Anderson led this team in scoring. He's gone. The natural progression would be marketing. Okay. Problem is everyone transfers before they can improve from within. <laughs> you knew that was coming. You already broke your promise, <laughs> not five minutes after you laid it down. Eight as Anabogu slams it home for the Bruins. Well, that was created by Lonzo Ball off that horn set. You cannot stay in front of him. How many seven-footers can UCLA offensively is a beautiful team to watch. Leading the nation, 22 assists per game. Baseline jumper, marketing For a couple of brief spots in the first half after he picked up his second. And that means Alonzo Trier has got to drive him at every opportunity. Markkinen with an 18-footer. It's a mistaken identity here. We were told that LeVar Ball's dad was here and would give an interview. He was misidentified to us. He is not here, uh, as far as we know. So we apologize for hyping an interview. That My question is, what took so long for the NCAA to announce that? Well, they're keeping it quiet. Markkinen with the rebound, puts it back up and in. Hunter Jackson, front right, knocks down a third. That whistle, there was contact, but play goes on as the Beavers drop back into that zone. Lowry marking it from deep. Toby Simmons wide open, free. Here, Golden State couldn't win a game. Here's a lob to Markin and got deflected by Fultz. Ends up in Comanche's hands. Pound him inside. And Markinen, they because they're better candidates out there, but it doesn't mean he shouldn't be in the conversation. That's okay for you to think that way, but you have to put these analytics guys, they have to be able to. Eight nothing run to close the game. We'll have yeah. Kansas. And by Bill the way. Self is up for the Hall of Fame. Lowry Markinen. Cooper would oh, not the cut worst. his nails. Oh, we all just we just yell at him every game. <laughs> Markinen, yeah, yeah. another two point basket. Eight. Right now they lead the Pac 12. If they win tonight, they'll stay a game up on Oregon. Oregon wins the tiebreaker should they finish top. Three point chance. Markinen has. So, yeah, Isaiah Thomas, Nate Robinson, Spencer Hawes, Quincy Pondexter, Terrence Ross. Tony ball well, yeah, short. That's because every time we come here, they just they can't get it done. I see my Whoa. great friends Percy Allen. I see uh, Steve Kelly. I see Jim Marsh. Marking in from two point range. The it's one up. You're wrong. Simmons short, rebounded by Comanche. Chance. And marking in with a follow jam. The Pac-12 Conference of Champions last men's basketball championship. Marking an over Thibel, tough shot, and it goes. What a four. Kids are playing basketball at a young age, and they're playing it all across the world. Marking it on cue, on the drive, can't end the drought. Now he does. They jump out on Allen. Pinder down low with the left, hits. Alkins now. Gets in the paint, kicks it out to Marking it for a deep three. Rattles it in. Is the committee. I completely disagree with everything you just said. First argument, less than a minute in. Marketing puts it in. Settle this thing right now. And it was unnecessary. It was unnecessary by Sean Miller. It was unnecessary. Why Why do you need to? Let's make a jumper. Let's play some ball. Let's keep this going. Let's go on tour with Roger Waters and John Fogarty. Throw it down. It's a 12. To Chris Paul, the setup guys, who also has a tremendous jumper to his game whenever he wants to. He led the Pac-12 last year in three-point shooting and league action. Oh. Markkinen with a two-pointer. 